Greetings, dear friends. We gather today in a very special time, very close to the exact time of the Leah solar alignment. Gratitude for choosing to join our circle here online. And yet we know that we are all connected with many other groups who meditate at this very time around the globe. Together we stand as one planetary server. Welcome. Over to you, Uda. Okay, thank you. Hello, friends. It's a special privilege at this time to be together in this Creative Nations Lab. We are spiritual students from many nations coming together each month to practice what we can call planetary eldership to learn to oversee the affairs of the family of nations. We are training the skills which may be required for members of a soul-guided United Nations in the future. So as Alexander already said, this is a special opportunity, spending the exact Leo full moon moment together in very palpable cooperation with our co-workers both around the world and on high. So we will sound our note and in consonance with our co-workers around the planet. We take this opportunity to deepen our awareness of our role in externalizing hierarchy. Leo opens the door to the star Sirius, the star of sensitivity. So we are invited into a higher sensitivity. So under this influence, we may get an added glimpse of the geometry of space. The higher space and also the space that we hold as the council chamber of elders in training. So at this special moment and in each other's presence, we may discern the ashramic patterning and realize and experiment with building our council chamber as a reflection of this higher order. Yeah, we may further grasp um, how we as individual groups and as this council chamber and as the world group are part of the outpicturing of the inner ashramic order. So our effort towards this, our sensitive registering and imitating what we sense we play our part in the externalization process. We densify it, we 
give shape to it, we meditate it into existence. bring it into this outer world. It's our duty and our privilege. So our awareness is becoming more geometrical. We noticed this also in the several previous sessions. We start to discern patterns and subjective ordered relationships or the, the order within our subjective relationships becomes more apparent to us. So we become more conscious of this evolving geometry in our council chamber. We have several elements, the element of the circle of our, how we hold the space together and the element of the flame in the middle and the emerging Merkaba, the emerging six pointed star that uh, several of us have intuited in the last few sessions. So we may be approximating intuitively some, um, some aspect of the ashramic order. Always remembering that this is, um, we are experimenting, we are pioneers. Hmm. So let us use this special Leo opportunity to deepen our sense of self, to realize, recognize who we are as a focal point for the work with nations and also as part of this emerging externalizing process. The meditation will be a bit longer than usual. We give all the space in this session to, to this Leo opportunity. And after the meditation, some of you may want to choose to retain the high note and uh, just leave in silence. Please feel welcome to do that or to remain with us and share our impressions. We will, today, the sharing, we will practice what DK calls a scientific attitude. Um, today, let us experiment with choosing out of the many aspects of our meditation experience, only one, one most central or most significant impression or insight to share. As part of practicing a focused telepathic sensitivity Yeah, the full moon, the exact full moon is in about 20 minutes. So, during the full moon, we will have, we hold a silence for several minutes. Okay.
So let us withdraw our attention into inner stillness. Releasing all previous content Just breathing deeply in this inner collectedness. Being well grounded in our body and on the earth. We are calmly present as a soul in incarnation. Getting in touch now with our own nation. taking our position on a pinnacle overlooking our nation, standing midway between our nation's soul and its outer life. Feeling the love for our nation. And also our freedom from it. Now, fine-tuning our vibration, expanding our role to an elder for the family of nations as a whole. We do as if. Taking a moment to calibrate our heart to an all embracing will to love. And now preparing our mind making it as inclusive as we can, aspiring to a planetary perspective. We offer ourselves in service to humanity. Letting ourselves now be drawn to the beautiful building set in nature, which we already know well. Entering 
into the quiet and clear and spacious chamber. Taking our places in geometric order. Taking a moment to sense the atmosphere in the chamber, the geometrical harmony. We are aware of each other's presence in our circle. Aware of the space that we together hold. In the center of the chamber, Visualize the flame, the flame of our combined, sustained will to love. Let our hearts streamline to it. Gently now, delicately, bringing our minds into consonance. We sense our mental field unifying. Gently, slowly. until it is a calm, stable, telepathic membrane. Just hold this mental field for a moment. and see if we can perceive a geometrical vibrational patterning emerge in the chamber, expressing our ordered relations. We notice the presence of high Deva beings helping us to hold this space and to develop it. And we invoke now the presence of our co-workers in the ashram who guide and support our nation's work. We 
We tune to their vibration. with our whole being. And we align with our fellow co-workers around the world, visualizing them, also doing their meditation. And all of us together holding a planetary, high vibrational space, a membrane, between hierarchy and humanity. So let us now stand in silent, focused sensitivity within this through way to Sirius. At this time of the exact Leo full moon moment in about eight minutes.
very gently. Bringing our awareness back into the council chamber. Allowing the high vibration to be absorbed into the chamber space. and allowing the received impressions to be registered in the group mind. Taking another moment for consolidation. Just uh, enjoying the beauty and the love of this special communion. And gently grounding back into our physical body. To our own personal field. And let us gently now prepare to give word form to our subjective experience. And let us pick one most significant impression or insight from the many in this meditation. And as we share, let us be aware that each such sharing adds substance to the chamber, mental structure and astral buddhic qualities. So it's a sacred building process that we are doing together. Yeah. 
So, hello everyone. Here's Annette from Germany. At first, thank you all. I would like to share a very special perception of, of something as a synchronicity, a synchronicity of all the different elements and levels of our meditation. All the individual levels and connections were very present in themselves and at the same time they were fluidly connected, united, just one. By being here in Munich, being together united in the fine structure of the council chamber, holding it together for our family of nations, looking at our beautiful earth from far outside and holding it in the heart at the same time. So the brothers and sisters in the ashramic realm, human, deva, powerful, silent, everything individually present and at the same time united in one great cosmic flow, very timeless So. A lot of gratitude. Hello, this is Helen from Jerusalem. Um, I am overwhelmed by the power of this time, of this particular synchronization of the full moon and our meeting. Thank you. Um, an element that I would like to bring that was prevalent in the meditation was our council chamber. Um, all the disciples standing there working together in a circle. And uh, there's a beginning of like a hinted delineation of a form inside the circle. A very gentle hinted calibration of the of of emerging bright particles um, that move together and are beginning to form something. Uh, they're, be they're beginning to uh, to form a very delicate shape of a star, of a six-pointed star. Um, it's particles. It's it's like a like a cloud that's beginning to to take shape. It was very powerful and very bright. Um, and it's magnetized. It's created by the circle of the of of uh, elder elders in training <coughs> and magnetized by the central flame in the middle of the chamber, standing between this birthing form, standing between the flame and the circle.
I just wanted to share the magic of this dynamic, delicate, and hinted movement like a creation. Thank you for being together. Hi, this is Efrat from Jerusalem. Thank you all. Thank you, Uta, for this special, powerful meditation. I would like to continue a bit, uh, Helen, what you brought, um, what came as a structure. There was a um, six pointed star in the middle of the circle in this chamber and this uh, six point actually keeps the circle harmonically so the the triangles of the six pointed star hold and walk together with with the circle the circle actually in three dimension kind of uh, something like the Merkava. And this helped the stabilize this gentle chamber. Thank you. This is Margot from Canada. Two prominent images were a Merkaba and a garden of flowers. I too saw the Makarba, and it was floating over the central flame. It was of cut crystal, and suddenly there was a brilliant stream of what I'm going to imagine to be the Syrian light that came straight down and into the center of the Makarba, and then refracted a shower of rainbow prisms. It was beautiful. And then I had a flash of the vision of Edward Hicks's painting called The Peaceable Kingdom. Um, Daisha here in Canada. I too saw the Merkaba very clearly. The upward pointing triangle was spinning clockwise. 
from left to right and the bottom one in the opposite direction. And at one point, it expanded to become a force field around planet Earth. And from the top, there entered a stream of silvery blue light. So quite similar to what Andrea intuited. Very precious, very beautiful, deeply moving. Thank you. Oh, hello, uh, hello. this is Jonathan. It's uh, really interesting how the Merkaba has shown itself this way. It came in to my awareness a few days ago, and I sense it today here at this full moon, this uh, meditation, this united activity as an activation of the light body, stimulating the true initiation of humanity as the keynote of Leo, I am that, and infusing the light body with the pure reason for the serious presence as the Christ in humanity releasing the saving force, the waters of life, and re-inspiring human genius and creativity to finally resolve our challenges, our difficulties, our conflict, and to bring forth a new creation, a new path towards a a brighter, a more prosperous and thriving future. This is Karen from the USA. I saw two triangles, one a downward triangle representing involution and the upward triangle representing evolution. These are merging, but these, these triangles are like vortices of energy, like chakras spinning and moving and circulating. And, and, and then I saw inside of one of the, the triangles, the downward or the upward one, this spiral, um, a spiral energy with the heart at the center and and that mantra of Leo, I am that and that am I.
Aloha, this is Kathy from Hawaii. I felt myself shape shift or metamorphosize into a part of a crystalline structure in which I was fully in alignment and at peace and yet this very brightly focused and wholeheartedly focused in the will to love in the flow of the energy through that crystalline structure of which I was a part and I felt very complete. Thank you. My strongest sense or most significant experience was um, um, two movements, a centrifugal and a centripetal movement. Um, and the importance of holding our own sense of self in a kind of a centripetal movement, holding our inner axis, I am that. And the more we hold it, the more stable it becomes. Mm the higher forces can work with us. When we sound our note, or the more clear we can sound our note, the more this we can participate in this geometrical orchestra and playing our part. There was a strong centrifugal movement of including all these many groups around the world, all this, maybe a bit like Annette shared, a synthesis of all, an all-inclusive experience. And it was like a, an, an opposite effort that I needed to consciously do the centripetal movement of my own sense of self so I can remain conscious and stable within this emerging planetary field emerging to my experience, to my consciousness. Thank you. Only one hour has passed. <laughs> it seems like a long, long time that we are here together. A universal moment, eternal moment. Would anyone else like to add 
Okay. Your note. Yes. Uh, this is uh, Judy from uh, the United States. Um, for me, that central flame uh, really was almost a rod of fire that came from the top. It was Syrian and Christic. So it was Sirius and Christ together. And it, it basically was the magnetizing force that held the whole structure together. Mm. It felt like there were three levels. Uh, there was the level above the chamber, the chamber and the level below. And the level above uh, was more hierarchical, if you will, and it, it had the support of uh, the Buddha, the spirit of peace and the avatar of synthesis. There was this almost governing force uh, above. The chamber itself was um, people of heart mind uh, that were the leaders and intelligentsia of uh, the planet. And they gathered together almost in groups that uh, were like the five centers. And below that was basically it was the iron ore that I stand with in the meditation room that stands under the general assembly. And it was the substance of the mother. It was we the people. It was purple. It was that flame that uh, basically received the energy from above through the chamber and then below. And then when I looked at it again, it almost became Shambhala hierarchy humanity. So it kept morphing, but it was those three levels. And depending on how I stood and where I looked, it became different things, but basically it was a unified whole. Mm -hmm. uh, I also had this sense that the inner flame, the central flame is as you said, the magnet, magnetizing force that holds the whole structure together. It's our guideline, our compass. Any other voices before we close? So, thank you everyone for this deepening ongoing work. We will reconvene in Virgo on August 29 and i believe alexander has some more announcements and after the announcements we will do a little closure of distributing the energies thank you uta i invite everyone to join us tomorrow for the full moon gathering for the meditation for the common good. It's the same time as uh, we gather it today. Uh, and the link is available on our website, 2025initiative.org. Much gratitude. Mm -hmm. Yes our different activities um, 
come closer and closer together, it seems. We are weaving closer and closer. And as this geometrical pattern also between the groups is emerging, it's, it's quite breathtaking to see how we all fit into this wider, this big, big puzzle. It's beautiful. So let us hold for another moment our shared flame of the will to love. And let it pour through each of us into our own nation. Just distributing in great generosity that which we have received. May it flow into our own nation and onwards. Seeing it streaming into the entire tapestry of the family of nations. And as we see it continuing to flow, we each return to our personal field now to our physical surroundings and letting our light shine wherever we are and let it ground as a blessing into our earth. Thank you, friends. Bye-bye.